All right, Skylar, um, what are your first impressions of China? I actually really like China. Um, my first impression were the people. They're super nice here. I, uh, I think everybody's excited. Um, you can tell that they really put their heart into it. It's a host in these games and they, they act accordingly. Um, you know, just from the way they treat us, the dining hall, the, the places, the dorms where we stay, um, even the, uh, you know, you go from facility to facility and everyone wants to take a picture and things like that. And, and our hosts and hostess are very nice also. So, I mean, it, I'm having a good time. Um, is it what you expected upon, um, you know, your impressions of China? This is more actually than I expected. Um, I, I didn't know how it was going to go when, it's, when they said we'd be staying in the village. I, I wasn't really didn't know what to expect, and, um, but actually, I mean, it, this is more than I expected. It's, like I said, the facilities are really, really nice, and, and uh, I guess I didn't realize what the World University Games um, were, that it was like a mini Olympics, so I think it's kind of neat when you walk around and see other Americans here for other sports and you kind of um, band together, um, even though you really don't know them, but I mean, I think um, it's a sense of pride when you see other uh, USA swimmers and, and other, you know, men's basketball players and things like that. You're like, hey, hey, what's up, USA, you go. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then how are you adjusting to being cut off from the outside world, uh, especially Twitter? <laughs> oh, man, Twitter was uh, the heartbreaker for me. I didn't, I knew Facebook wasn't available, but Twitter was kind of the heartbreaker. But um, I'm adjusting well. I think um, I'm learning a lot, um, some of the language and, um, you know, just interacting with people. And I guess I, I, I didn't realize how much I don't interact with people face to face because of the social media and my phone and all that. And not having all that just um, allows me to establish more relationships and, and reach out to more countries and talk to more people. Uh, you know, other countries are actually really friendly. Here, USA, right behind us. Yeah. USA! To the left over there, we got more USA people too. Like right, we're everywhere. <laughs> and uh, what, what's it like being out here playing uh, alongside some of the opponents that you've faced in the past and some who you'll face this year? I think it's an amazing group that um, the committee put together. Um, the camaraderie is group. We all get along so so well, and you would think we uh, have been playing with each other for years. Um, besides me and Deborah, um, you know, you got a couple on the same team, which kind of helps. But um, I never feel like it's any click or anything like that. I always feel like I can talk to anybody in, in the group, and uh, I think it helps. Um, and we're definitely going to establish a lot of skills that we're going to take back with us. And you know, I'm excited going into our first game against Brazil on Sunday um, with this group because of the way that um, we interact with one another. You guys have only been here a couple days, but what have you been doing off the court? We went shopping yesterday. Um, that was pretty good. We got to go to a, a really, really nice mall, actually, and um, a couple markets um, where a couple of us were able to buy gifts. And, um, you know, just going to see the city and with so many people and so many stores and shops that we were able to go to. So um, we kind of ran out of time, but hopefully we, we can make another trip like that. And, um, you know, we're spending a lot of time with each other in the dorms. Uh, not, not Like I said, no TV, no phone. Uh, um, uh, limited uh, Wi-Fi use. So I think we're taking advantage of the time, uh, the athletes being out here, like I said, and being able to just um, talk to other people and meet other countries and things like that. Finally, any uh, any shout-outs to anybody back home? Oh, shout-out to my mom. I'm pretty sure she's uh, keeping up, and everybody uh, at Notre Dame and um, just all the schools, I'm sure everyone wants to shout out their families and friends and everyone back home supporting and waiting anxiously for the results of the game. Um, you know, we're trying our best out here and we can't wait to get started. Thanks, Guy. All right.